Now we do uh, Venga Venga. Venga Venga. Digging a hole. Heaven to Betsy. Heaven to Betsy. Digging a hole. Pineapple. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pineapple. Digging a hole. Heaven to Betsy. Heaven to Betsy. Digging a hole. Pineapple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So now you notice in this room, the only piece of furniture is a table. There's no chair, there's just a table, but I don't know what the table looks like. It could be a tall table, it could be short. Um, maybe it has four legs, it could be round, it could be square, it could be a rectangle. I don't know, but you do it. I'm going to have a good look at this table. Maybe the legs are thick or thin. They could be round or square, I don't know. And then strangely, you notice there's something on the table. You haven't noticed it before. Sitting right in the middle of the table. Well, I have no idea what it is. There is something there, though. You can see it in your mind's eye. So as long as it's not something dangerous, I'd like you to pick whatever it is up that's on the table. I'd like you to pick it up with your hands and feel it. Feel its weight. Feel the texture of it. If it's something that feels like you should maybe smell it, because it's, it's a smell nice. And rub your hand over it. Does it, does it have a sound when your hand goes over it? Is it particularly smooth or rough? And then when you've got a really good look at it, I'd like you to put it back on the table and open your eyes. When you're ready. What was on the table? Your bear was on the table. When you got, when you were outside the tower, we were expecting to find your bear at the top of the tower. You think that was going to happen? No. Funny, isn't it? How the mind's eye works. Here we go. There was a tiny little um, treasure box with one berry in it. A tiny little treasure box. A treasure box with one berry. What kind of berry? I don't know. You don't know. Not one you recognise. Table to treasure. Yes. Did you know that was going to be there or was it a surprise? I thought it was there. I thought it was there. Mine was just a roast chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a roast chicken. <laughs> was it cold or was it just. It was warm, it was hot. It was, it was hot. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you weren't expecting it. How? 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 I don't know. I don't know. I have heard since the old book. I don't know if we get in the museum or anything. Oh, yeah, okay. So, for me, this is the power of the mind's eye. And when you tell stories, try and see the pictures in your head. So, you, particularly you two, when I was telling you stories, did you see pictures in your head when I was telling you stories? Kind of. Kind of, yeah, kind of. I kind of see them as well. I don't, as soon as I try to look at them, they disappear. But they appear. So, um, would you like to have a go at telling a story? Okay. So, actually, Brandon's never been looked up story before, but he knows how to learn it. So, he's going to help you learn it. Is it all right? Okay. Um, so, the old wise man goes past that one house. And what's happened in that uh, in that house? It's, so there's one house, and um, who's coming in and out of the house? And um, the lady was trying to get light in the house, yeah. and the men house? were trying to get the dark out of the house. Yeah. And the old wise men said, "You uh, fools! You, that will never work." Do you remember how they're trying to do it? Yeah, getting bags. Yeah. They so they go in like. So the lady put yeah, so they the, the light room. and then tried to bring it in and then the men had the bag. Yeah. They They were coming from inside, weren't they? Yeah, and grabbing the dark yeah. and putting it outside. And he was so mad that he walked away. <laughs> yeah, so he said, You fools. 
Is this not how you build windows? Um, yeah, so do you, so you remember all the, the yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's, I mean, what I did last week was uh, he told us a different story and I, I just uh, sort of went through it in my mind in like a series of pictures really. And um, so is that how you remember things? Yeah. Do you remember the story like that? It's Sometimes like a movie, really. My mum said, um, memory like an elephant. <laughs> I wish I could have a memory like an elephant. It's fine though. You yeah. can always be yourself. You're always yourself, aren't you? <laughs> so yeah, I, I I sometimes remember it like it's like it's a movie or something. So I'm imagining it like it's a series of like pictures that like you're like going through it, and uh, and so, so it's almost like you're watching it in your head. Yeah. Yeah. One last practice is fear effect. Okay. So easy. Yes. Okay. Go on then. jump up to get into it. He woke up and he said, I want to buy a dog. Mm -hmm. So he marched into the village and it went to the dog store. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a different thing that you might do, it's depending on who you've got. Mm -hmm. You might, if you're, because you'll be working in pairs, mm -hmm. that's the idea. So you might split, you might say, oh, well, you know, if there's a young group, you might do something different. Or we'll just do it all together. <clears throat> it's kind of just developing, and I think that was a really useful, mm -hmm. a really useful session. Especially with two, I'm so glad. Yes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I, so it's, I don't know how things are going to develop. And I can see, really, it's in your hands, a lot of it, and I'm here to support that. So, yeah, I'll give you those up to the next week. I want to see who comes, just come on with whatever. But it was fantastic. I thought you were all absolutely fantastic today.